We're going to call the meeting to order at 6.01. Roll call? Yep. Thomas Wood? Yep. Mark Manning? Yes. Meg LaFay? Yes. Barb Hebert? Present. James Coffey? Here. Rick Collins? Cashman is out sick, unfortunately. Um, do we have any public comment this evening? Supervisor's report, he's seeking recommendations for committee members for the SMART Growth Plan. Do we have any updates on that? No. Tom, the last I know is that they were beginning to look for recommendations for the SMART Growth Plan. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, <clears throat> I, I, I have one person that's interested, uh, for sure. Okay. And then one that may. Okay. Do you know how many people that we are looking to have? Oh. It's debatable. Okay. There's uh, between uh, six and, and 12. More than two. But <laughs> I'm looking at, you know, I, I could say up to 18 if we found, the, if we found people that were interested, that cared about it, wanted to do it. Because uh, in, in the last uh, plan that we had, uh, we started out with about 18 and we ended up with about 10, 11, 12. And what's the timeline for getting people? Uh, well, they, we'd like to have the them by middle of November, but um, that that depends. You know, I mean, obviously it's when we get them, we get them to right. have the meeting. But uh, their anticipation is that it wouldn't start until uh, well, either have one meeting in December or January. It all depends on uh, whether we get the RFP right. If we're going to do a yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. That that's so, so. We really need once we we do that, the committee needs to decide. Decide that, so uh, we need to get a committee by then. Okay. <coughs> and what's the time commitment for somebody if they want to be on the committee? Well, it, it varies. Uh, at the, at first, you could be uh, a couple, uh, two, two or three times a month, maybe usually two, right? And then, it, and then maybe once a month. And then there may be it, it's over a period of a year or possibly a year and a half, and at some point, you don't even meet for a month. Or so so it's not a time commitment that you're going to be having to be there every week or having to be there every every other week um, it depends on what happens like uh, the RFP we're going to be spending some time on so that will take a, a few meetings um, then might be uh, a period of time before we go to do anything else or we get it back and select you know after we select them so I would say that you know consider at least a once a month thing for a year or something like that, but it won't be every month. It'll be sometimes there'll be more and sometimes less. Okay. And and the way I approach it is, you know, if the person wants to do it, um, let's try it. You know, come and uh, uh, if they can't make a meeting, they can't make a meeting. There's a lot of times people can't make a certain meeting, but that doesn't mean that they <coughs> they can't read the information. So, right. but I'm recommending that anybody that uh, that as a person that they think would be doing it, to have them look at our current comprehensive plan use plan so they have a basis to go on. Okay, okay. thank you. Um, I guess I would just say Tom and I, in addition, a number two, Tom and I just got back from the Adirondack North Country Association's Clean Energy Economy Conference in Glens Falls. It was really an enriching experience mm -hmm. to be around a lot of local municipal leaders and business leaders that are focusing on clean energy as an economic driver. Mm -hmm. Definitely. And there's many possible projects and, mm -hmm. and ways to go and we'll need to be discussing these in the future. Um, but we're already doing uh, the mega uh, project for, I think, the town, right? The, the energy? Yeah. Yes. And they have that for uh, residents too, and we have to look into that a little bit more. And it's also part of our clean energy communities right. initiative where we're getting hopefully the hundred thousand dollars grant. So there's lots of opportunities out there. Um, we have draft resolutions, minutes of the previous meeting, public hearing for a CDBG micro 2015 grant, three percent construction deposit return for Lake City Realty. Request for culvert pipe order for highway department, 
Trudeau Road Subdivision 2016 dedication of Page Drive Extension. And we will act on one resolution this evening. It's the agreement with Constellation New Energy, Inc. Ricky, do you have that one? This is the last one. Do it. You can have my yeah, was last one. It'll be resolution. Yeah, you did, Rick. I hope you did. Now you can use. Do you have one? He has it. <laughs> no, I don't have one, but he has. Do you want this one? Yeah, that would be nice. Thank you. Ricky, would you have? I'll get this one. Yeah. There you go. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> That's okay. Yeah, it's hard. I had to look at my three. It's okay, Ricky. It's, it'll be resolution 261. What is it? 261. Whereas Consolian New Energy Incorporated has submitted a proposal for electric supply agreement to the town of Plasford, and the town attorney has reviewed the agreement as well as communication with the representatives of the company New Energy Incorporated, and the town attorney is satisfied that the agreement is legal and sufficient. Whereas Resolution 17259 was passed, and a new service agreement has been received and the new agreement has been reviewed for the dates of the agreement being January 1, 2018 to October 26, 2020. Not a full three years as indicated in the previous resolution. Now therefore be resolved that the supervisor of the town of Plattsburgh is hereby authorized to execute any and all documents necessary to the contract with Consolium New Energy Incorporated to supply energy to the town. Get a motion. So I'll make a motion in that effect. Barb, signed by Annex. Um, for the purpose of, of the record, it's Constellation. Oh, Constellation. Yeah. Any discussion? Mr. Mannix move and, and it was seconded by Hebert or the other way around? Other way around. Other way around. Okay. Sorry. Any other discussion? Um, all those in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? Carries. I believe that's all the business we have this evening. Does anybody have anything else to add before we adjourn? May I just real quickly get the, the uh, draft resolution for the culvert pipe? Mm -hmm. So the highway department? Yeah, um, so it looks like uh, in the highway department there's still going to be a balance for some unexpected um, projects that could come up the way James planned it. Uh, I'll find that somewhere. Right, folks. Oh, Jim. Says there's That's not unusual. 5,000 left. Yeah. As he would have his budget. As he would have his budget organized. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, he would have the expenditure of salt. Mm -hmm. Labor, etc., for snow removal in the month of you know November and December, and that may or may not occur. Mm -hmm. Okay, and and consequently, that can produce uh, a reserve at the end of the year. So it's very common that he'll get that he he'll get toward the end of the year and he'll have a, a reserve in that highway fund. Yeah, that's in case anything unexpected comes up. Oh, okay. for sure. Yeah, yeah. he's pretty good. It's happened in the balance. We've had unexpected things come up. Yeah, he's been good at navigating that. Okay. And it's a draft, so I would say if you, if you want to follow up further with, with Jim and also Cashman on that one before next week. Okay. Mm -hmm. So um, I would call this town board meeting adjourned at 610.